Howdy friends, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 4 of Going Medieval, which originally streamed live on Twitch. So I'm going to relocate the butcher table to... Oh man, I can't see it all. I'll wait until their roof is built so I can actually see what I'm doing. But I'm going to re relocate the butcher table in there. And then... Uh, we'll see what we research or uh, what we build next. Looking good. Yeah, fifty nine percent. He's like, yeah, I'm done. There we go. All right. Very kitcheny. Uh, we still have stuff to haul out of that, but uh, that's a that's progress. Let's relocate the uh, the butcher table in here. And then I'm also going to want to put the, like a stockpile here for butchery. So this is going to be high priority for animal carcasses. So that we butcher it there. As far as furniture goes, let's go and get... Um, some side torches. So I'll put a torch here and he oh here. And then eventually we'll be putting in the um the stove in there as well. Nice. So we got a kitchen. Looks like you guys are gonna want a barracks next. Hmm. Does the experience gain for crafting items being time spent or quantity? I believe it's uh I believe it's each item that you physically craft um levels you up. It's for the completion of the task, not for the duration of the task. So that I don't uh, table myself with a ton of work, I think I'm going to make a a somewhat lackluster barracks uh, so that I can more quickly work on other things as well. And then I can always improve the barracks or change the barracks at a future date. But just this will be what I consider the sort of the bare minimum to fulfill the, the task. So that I, uh, so I can work on other things, make more progress on things that you may find more important. So there, there's a little barracks there. And let me finish that up. Uh, beekeeping is still TBD. We don't have the, uh, the research yet. And then not only that, but we're going to require textbooks, which require us, us to make the next tier of, um, of research table. I need one more layer of wall on the west barricade. You mean here? No one can even walk there, if that's what you mean. On the other side. I don't, uh... I honestly don't see what you mean. Um... Alright, let's see. What, uh... What was it working on? So, the smelter here. I'm gonna smelt forever items that are flimsy. Stick that in as a cue.
Oh, Marauder. Always sleeping every time I check. The friend died should go away uh, today, which is nice. Finally. And we're going to be heading into the into the fall. So one of the other things I might want to do is if there's any wild barley up here. Yep, there is. Let's grab it. And any easy... Ooh, there's a lot of wolves. Any easy hunting that there is to be done uh, to do it. So that we stockpile... So this deer I'll go for. And these four deer over here. Uh, settlers are suffering from cold. So that also means that um, I'm going to want winter clothing. Let's do four. And then let's also go for hats, caps. But uh, we're not really making a whole lot of progress on that. Um, Alright, you weird nudists. Where's the clothing that I've made? I can't even find it. I'm going to probably have them wear some of this uh, tattered, sturdy stuff. They're not happy about that. So if you take a look, they have ugly apparel. But they should be snapping out of it soon. Alright, that's a lot of deer that we've already butchered. Is there space down here? Yeah, there's plenty of space. And raw meat, I believe, yep, is allowed down here. So we should be moving that soon. In fact, Icarus, I'm going to have you haul it manually. Just so it doesn't go to spoil. Yeah, I see you pinging me. I am working on the barracks right now. Working on cutting down these trees because they're ripe. And here's all the barley. We don't have any brewing, but uh, if we get it, we have a decent amount that we can make the barley out of. So once this barracks is up and running, uh, we can take on some more projects. I'll probably also do a stone roof on that as well. Oh, so here's something interesting. I don't have a, a cartography map up or a cartography table, but our influence is rising, which means that it's going to signal in some additional attacks from raiders that want to take our stuff. So we have to keep a close eye on that. Basically, as you become more wealthy, uh, you become targeted more often. Yeah, I see what you're saying. The outer stone wall doesn't have a pillar there. It doesn't... I don't, um... The raiders aren't smart enough to exploit that for defensive reasons. So I don't care, because it will never become an issue. That's why I've not been building it. Because it's inconsequential, and it's stone that otherwise I would not be building my barracks out of. So I know what you mean, I'm just saying I work on the priorities, and I don't care that there's, like, a missing wall anywhere. 
um, it won't matter. But we are going to get attacked. So here we are. We have a incursion. Well, you are big. Uh, they are all melee marauders. Five of them coming in. And what we'll be able to do is draft and head on over behind our walls. Actually, let me relocate the Oak Brethren um, if there's time. So I don't believe where the I don't oh there's the flimsy bow all right so Icarus go switch out you arrived to us because you um you hurt yourself with a bow so let's not allow you to use that Macho that totally does not look like you're working on the Oak Brethren Macho is just like yeah you know I'm not gonna listen to you. All right, deconstruct that. So Icarus now has the correct bow. Rix. Marauder is waiting at the gate. And Macho, there's no time. You ignored my... So they might destroy the Oak Brethren um, shrine, but it's it's not worth much in case they do. All right, one dead. Willem, you're next. He's obviously uh, leg injury, deep leg injury. They're trying to like hide from me. It's not really a good strategy. All right, Duncan, you're next. Now they will try to break the door down, um, but I would not want to be attacking. So. Uh, Four sworn enemies died. Rick rolls dealt the most damage. No one even got hurt. And I still have a bone to pick with Osric here. This giant beast of a man who's very, very arrow vulnerable. So that's case in point. Raiders are dumb. They're not going to be able to use the wall against me or anything like that. That's why I'm not building that. Because this outer wall here is all sort of temporary anyway, so I'm not uh, I'm not trying to to make it aesthetic or perfect or anything like that. Now that strategy, the strategy I've been using so far, wouldn't really work if they were all um, ranged, right? I would need some ranged defenses, but uh, currently I'm I'm working on the barracks, and then once the barracks is done, if you wanted to vote on defenses, I can I can work on defenses accordingly. Yeah, Raiders are not strategists. They're dumb. Oh, Pyre's gone. They done blew up my Pyre. In fact, I am going to move the Pyre because I don't need to do extra hauling. Stick it here. Uh, Thar the Storm, you, uh, you start with nothing. So yeah, we did build this little cabin. This was the initial starting cabin, and then we're working on a, a greater, larger structure here. Sort of a keep. And Macho's almost done laying out the structure for the barracks. So Marauder
I'm going to lower Marauder's priority so that Marauder can start working on more research. So we can get beekeeping. Finally. So pyre, burn all bodies. Not sure why uh, Macho didn't build this back wall. And research. Beekeeping requires... Oh, right, it requires uh, textbooks. So the other thing that we're going to need to do to build is the uh, actual research table. Not just the basic one. And I'm going to stick this here... For now, because I don't have a better place to put it, I'm going to stick it in my kitchen. Um, but eventually I'm going to want s like a research library area, which is dedicated to the task. One of those men, not shaped like the other. He's like uh, Telamonian Ajax. How many of you have read the Iliad? Do I have anyone that gets that reference? Telemonian Ajax was a heaping giant man. He was uh, enormous compared to everybody else. All right, so that is currently a spare room. Uh, so next task is to move these bedrooms, to relocate the beds to be in there. And we'll have a barracks. So what am I building next? So we have... Dining room, workshop, storage, individual bedrooms, church, improved barracks, improved kitchen, improved root cellar, or defenses. What you guys think? I also think I'm going to tell everyone to haul at really high priorities briefly, just because um, we got some meat sitting here that probably shouldn't. But here's what our base looks like so far. Kind of like the foggy morning. We have our stone keep here. We've got our little uh, barracks, temporary barracks. And then some perimeter walls. We have so many limestone. Settlers are idle. Methinks that there's stuff for you to work on, friend. Ooh, puppy treats. My bad. Here we go. Oh, Yoda's ready. Ah, oh, here. Here's the Yoda cam again. All right. I might require additional wood to build that... Um, to build that uh, research table. I'm not sure why it hasn't been queued up yet, so I'm gonna cut down some additional trees. I think oh, that might be the bottleneck. Also, Macho, it would be awesome if you actually started to move the beds, because we'll get a morale bonus for having a proper bedroom. But here's the research table that we require. So at this point, uh, what we need to do is we need to get 10 textbooks for beekeeping. So do until we have 10. And then for the regular textbooks, I'm going to do until I have 20 
just to finish the one we're currently making. So now Marauder's going to head over to the uh, proper research table and to make textbooks rather than chronicles. What was that? Oh, not enough beds yet because we're moving them. So there's the Oak Brethren Shrine inside our walls, so it's a little bit better protected. Yeah, some of these trees here are, like, ready to be cut. Oh, they're not actually part of the, uh, <laughs> part of our... Arboretum, or whatever you want to call it. I didn't realize that. Let's cut those down. All right, so now it's a bedroom, but it's soon going to be a shared bedroom. As soon as uh, Macho moves the rest of them. It's getting a little late in the day, Macho. You should have done this a little sooner. How are the apple trees faring? Uh, they're young. They're growing. All right, so now it's a shared bedroom. And there'll be a bit of a mood benefit from uh, sleeping here. All right, jobs. I don't want anyone to go to sleep without actually um, finishing moving the beds. We're still burning corpses. So now this is a, a more or less just a a storage room, which is fine. Uh, I'll be phasing this out eventually, so that it's not a storage room. It's a nothing room. We'll be destroying it entirely so that uh, it's not vulnerable outside the walls. So just got to move everything. All right, Macho's going for the last bed, I think. No, no, maybe. Nope, please make the last bed. Oh, right, I only have uh, four people, so that doesn't even matter. All right, uh, workshop is the next priority. Cool. Build a workshop and research beekeeping. Well, this is going to require a lot of mining. I'm going to start excavating here so that we can have our little structure or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so let's create, copy these stairs and rotate them so we gain quicker access to our barracks. I might even put the door... No, that would block Rick's bed. But um, yeah, that will speed that up. And then we'll mine out this section here for a workshop. And workshops need to be rather large to accommodate all of the all the stuff that we want to build. There we go. Cheers. It is autumn. It's warning me that I'm going to need warmer clothing. So let's pause the summer clothes. And work on winter clothes. And then make Marauder, who is our researcher, start to tailor. Because we're going to want those warm clothes uh, before we freeze to death. Uh, Marauder. Mm. 
linen, fabric, wool. Oh, you know what? It might actually be a result of a lack of material. Let me see. No, I have some linen cloth that he could be making it out of. I think he's heading to do it now. No, he's just eating. Eighty clothing fabric required. And we definitely don't have 80. So another thing I could do is to start dismantling forever anything that is flimsy. And then do another queue forever anything that is damaged. And we'll recover the materials of the, like, other Marauder armors. so that we can make our own clothing. How goes it? It's going well. Going pretty good. How about for yourself? Chaos Dino? Icarus has fallen. That's pretty much in his job description, so I'm okay with that. All right, Marauder is now working on some winter clothes. Stellar. We're still outside. I can... What's my wood? Oh, yeah, I have plenty of wood. I'm going to... Uh, to very quickly try to make the outside inside. It will be very temporary, but it should be okay to do. So I'll put pillars here, here, and try to roof it up as best I can. Again, this is all just temporary structure to speed up crafts. So we're not, you know, in the rain and working slowly. Is this a new game? Uh, it's not that new. It came out a little while ago, but um, it is still fairly early in development. So in that regard, it's uh, it's new. Settlers are suffering from cold. Yeah, I'm trying to work on that. So another thing I could do... Oh! A hopeful helpmate. Should we help Edda? Edda approached... With her hand out and a warm smile, uh, we can either shut the door on Ada or welcome her in. She is a minor melee medicine carpenter animal handler. She doesn't believe in what we believe in. She's not a oak brethren. She's a restitutionist, so she's going to require her own um, shrine. She's 25 years old, and... I'm going to pull you all about whether we should help or not. And I'm actually going to run to the bathroom as I pull. So I'll be back in um, in one minute. And I'll accept her if you vote her in.
Well, I hope, uh, I hope Yoda kept you company. I'm back, though. So we're deciding to welcome her in. Here she is. And, uh, five-minute timer on the giveaway. Let me reset the eligibility. Anyone that types in chat for the next five minutes, eligible to win yourself a colonist. So let's take a look at her, uh, in finer detail. She is vigorous, so... She recovers hit points quickly. She would make a good melee-er. Um... If that's the case. She's also chivalrous. So let's go to jobs. Give her high quality tending. She's not good at it, but she has a passion in it. Animal handling, mining. Bunch of miners. We just keep getting miners. And smithing. She's not as good as uh, Icarus at smithing. Carpentry, she's not as good either. She's mostly a miner, but that's fine. She's also going to be a brawler for us, I think. So yeah, we got a raffle going on. And not enough beds. A macho. You're supposed to build that bed like a long time ago. I'll get that going. So good luck to you all. Oh, Macho, you didn't do it. See, Macho, this this is... Yeah. Boo, not cool. All right, so for the settlers uh, that are getting cold, one of the things I could do is to set up braziers uh, to keep them warm. So I'm going to do a brick brazier here and a brick brazier here. And we're going to want to mine out some coal, uh, which would be... There's some over yonder in order to heat it efficiently. So I'll mine a little coal out that way. But also, I think uh, Marauder is going to be tailoring most of the day today. Uh, breaking down these old clothing for better ones. And beekeeping is taking a back seat for a bit. As we're trying to get... We're trying to get housed here. So one thing I could do is just stick a door. Um, I'll make this out of wood to make it obvious that it's temporary. Like that. Alright, so where's Macho? Macho, you still haven't made this this bed. It's... I think it's probably bugged. I don't really see the bed over here, though. The deconstru... Oh, here it is. Install. There. And I just told him to do it. Sometimes the, the game sort of bugs out and you have to prompt it again. Cancel it and prompt it. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Enemy corpse rotted on the stockpile. Well, that makes that easy. Don't have to break that down. Even more people to help. Should we help Gerald? So, he is being chased. And there is a whole lot of people chasing him. There's a, a trebuchet chasing him. Uh, four marauders, a fierce marauder, and two archers. 
So he is outrunning quite a lot of enemies, and I'm going to have you decide uh, whether you think we should help him or not. And the giveaway timer for Edda just went off, so Edda becomes Elda, I guess. Congratulations. Yes, a slave is escaping, so bring in the trebuchets. A totally reasonable thing, I, I, I guess. So it looks like we're going to decide to help him. So here is Gerald. Botany, construction, mining. Mining, no kidding, no kidding, huh? Uh, so, heal. Having another constructor is nice. Botanist, miner, cut plants. You're also cook. Okay, and I want you to go heal. Another thing that I'm going to need. So we have uh, one day until enemies arrive. This brazier, I'll put uh, I'll put back there instead, freeing up a little bit of space, and copy that like that. So Trebuchet is uh, come to. Oh, let me hide that. Trebuchet is going to come to attack us, and I'm going to start yet another timer for the new guy. So let me rename the last one, and eligibility is now reset for the next one in just a second. So you went from Edda to Elda. Nice. Yeah, at this rate, I'm going to need a bigger barracks. You're absolutely right. Or the raid is going to kill people, and I'm not going to need a bigger barracks. <laughs> sort of curious. This is still... Oh, nope. It's under the roof, so its production speed is full. Awesome. Now, we made a good leather winter clothes, so Macho, I'm going to have you wear that. And your crummy one is going to get broken down for leather and then replaced. It's been a while since I've played this game. Yeah, you're right. It has been a minute. So Geralt's getting healed up. Um, Elda and Geralt don't have weapons yet. So another thing that would be wise for me to make soon is a bow. And who's my carpenter? Icarus is. So I'll send Icarus on that task. There's a little brazier. So now it's uh, 19 Celsius inside. So it's warm in... It's not so warm in the um, in the kitchen area. Because it's a large space only heated by one. But it's definitely warmer uh, in the barracks. So in here, the fuel can be sticks, coal, or wood. Um, that's fine. And we have beds for everybody now. Alright, so there's my bows, a sturdy and a fine. Oh, nice. Equip. And equip. I think, Elda, you were the one that, um, probably ought to switch with Marauder. I'm gonna make Icarus another bow. So, Elda, uh, could you actually drop that bow? Marauder, go grab it. 
And then drop the rest of your armor and Eldest Switch. Yeah, draft you to stand there. So she, I'm putting her in as our brawler because she regenerates quick. Which is definitely going to be something nice to have as a brawler. She has the uh, Vigorous, so she heals from wounds quick. And then, uh, yeah, we're making one more bow to replace a crummy bow that we have. So if we take, take a look at everyone's equipment here. Uh, good short bow, sturdy long bow, sturdy short bow, flimsy short bow. So Icarus's bow needs to be replaced, but everybody else's bow is pretty good. And we have 13 hours before they show. Hang on, Icarus. Switch up. Done. What are you doing, dude? Where are you going? Eating some random meat. That actually brings me to something I should have done, which is move the campfire. So, I'll do that next. Yo, are you barking? You barking, little guy? Okay, and this one is going to be named Sylvanti. Congrats, Savanti. So you are a sun seeker. You like to be in the sun, and you also are ill favored. So not so good with your words. And hopefully, we can defend against the raid that is coming after you. Yeah, unfortunately, can uh, you you died like in your sleep, at like the ripe old age of thirty something. It was unfortunate. I'm also going to need a Restitutionist Shrine. Uh, let me move the Oak Brethren to, I'll put it over here. So Marauder's still working on uh, nicer clothing. Yeah, that one's old. Trying to get warm. Uh, the cellar down here is very cold, so nothing down here is going to rot, I think. And we're still working on the crafting room, but not really, because I just have to excavate like a ton of stuff. All right, so what do we have here? Good clothing. You put that on. Good. Six hours until the raid arrives. So food prep, let's do until we have... 20. Our population went up a little bit, so I'll increase the uh, food prep max up a bit. Here's the restitution shrine. So, Sylvanti, what do you believe in? You are Oak Brethren, but Elda here is Restitutionist. Actually, a Zealot Restitutionist. Not really sure why they came for me to help, but uh, whatever. What was that negative thought you just had? Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you're literally praying and you're complaining that you're praying. Smack. Makes a lot of sense. Ooh, we're getting some carrots. We still haven't hard hauled that barley in. Let's go ahead and uh, high party haul everything briefly because a lot of stuff is being left outside and it should be hauled in. And the other thing I'm going to want to do is... Um, 
The stockpile that I had here, I'm going to move it even further out because we're just simply out of space. So I'm going to say like out here, we're just going to put uh, limestone, raw limestone, because I'm, I'm ending up with um, so much uh, raw limestone. I have nowhere to put it. And we have two hours until the raid arrives. What melee weapon do you have? Steel short sword? That's probably still the best. So, search party is imminent. Unfortunately, Icarus is exhausted. Do we defend Sylvanti? Yes or no? So taking a look at this, if we refuse to bow to the assailants, it's two trebuchet, four marauders, two fierce marauders, and two archers, and a mood modifier to help someone in need, or we can turn Sylvanti over and uh, get a negative mood modifier but not have to fight. Do you guys want to fight? I'm really bad at drinking coffee, apparently. All right. Looks like, uh, looks like, Savanti, you're in luck. People want to keep you. Even at the cost of our own hides. So, uh, so I'll accept this in just a second. Savanti belongs to me. What dangerous slavers. Okay. Let's be defiant. So, raid time. Let's see what we got. They are way up top. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move, I'm gonna draft everybody. I hope Icarus doesn't like fall asleep because Icarus uh, got terrible sleep. Drafting everybody to come to the trebuchets. So these trebuchets, what they do is they, um, they're raid equipment obviously and they will huck Rock, well, I'm, you guys know what a trebuchet is. But it's something that we obviously want to counter ASAP. So two of them are just going to be launching uh, limestone chunks, more or less, at us. Uh, whether they hit or not, we'll see. And they're back here. And then the rest of them are moving up. So they are going to be moving this way. We can kind of see their, their pathing. So I'm going to uh, stand over here, waiting for them. Curious if they managed to actually hit anything, but I suppose we'll see. All right, so Rick Rolls is ready. Or Rick's Rolls. And then the rest of the archers are just going to be standing out in the open. Oh, they went a... They went a very different way. I didn't see them uh, pivot. Oh, the double music. I think they're just hitting the trees, oddly. Alright, so if we all converge here... This should be a good line of sight. So Elda stands out front. And let's butcher this person. Thank you for tuning in to Going Medieval, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 21st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com has the link to Discord, as does the description of this video. If you'd like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com and Discord is also the resource for that as well. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.